The Hunting Ground, documentary film or propaganda reel. The adrenaline-charged trailer for The Hunting Ground pushes the outraged message that female college students are being raped en masse and schools are doing nothing about it. The problem of sexual assault on campuses is enormous. We've got a lot further to go. The website's carousel of film review quotes includes Newsweek's terrifyingly true, but terrifyingly sketchy might be a better description. As Ash Shao writes for the Washington Examiner in The Continuing Collapse of the Hunting Ground, a campus sexual assault propaganda film, The Hunting Ground bills itself as a documentary about the campus sexual assault crisis in America. But as more of the film's premises are debunked, it looks less like a documentary and more like a film in search of a problem. In one of The Hunting Ground's main stories, Harvard Law School graduate Camilla Willingham says a classmate, Brandon Winston, a man she thought was her friend, drugged the drinks he bought at a bar for her and a female friend, then took the two women back to Willingham's apartment and sexually assaulted them. In the trailer, Willingham speaks. I got a call from the Dean of Admissions asking if you were to get in to Harvard, would you accept? And I said yes, because I knew my mom would kill me if I said anything else. <laughs> I went to the Dean of Students' office, and she said, I just want to make sure that you don't talk to anyone about this. In her extensive article for Slate.com, How the Hunting Ground Blurs the Truth, Emily Yoffe writes that she looked into the case of Camilla Willingham, whose allegations generated a voluminous record. What the evidence, including Willingham's own testimony, shows is often dramatically at odds with the account presented in the film. With a dramatic surge of the musical score, the trailer exclaims that schools ignore such allegations. They protect perpetrators because they have a financial incentive to do so. But in fact, writes Yoffe, Harvard did not ignore her complaints. The school thoroughly investigated them. And she concludes, Sexual violence on campus is a serious issue, and it is imperative that we understand its dynamics, work to prevent it, punish wrongdoers, and aid victims. Blurring the truth and failing to tell both sides of the story is not the way to achieve these goals. In their effort to sound an alarm about what they believe to be rampant college rape, the makers of The Hunting Ground did an injustice to Brandon Winston and ultimately to viewers who have come and will continue to come to this film, hoping for an accurate assessment of what's really happening on America's campuses. Stuart Taylor writes in his National Review article, The Cinematic Railroading of Jemais Winston, that the hunting ground joins the movement to ruin a man's career for the sake of an ideological agenda. He won the Heisman Trophy with his DNA rape kit. And Blake Neffs, for The Daily Caller, writes that the film omits details about rape accuser Erica Kinsman as an unreliable witness who had repeatedly changed her story and couldn't be counted on by prosecutors should the case go to trial. The Harvard Crimson states that the hunting ground misrepresents Harvard sexual assault statistics. And Reason Magazine agrees that the central allegation in the movie collapses under scrutiny. It looks like the filmmakers are more interested in soliciting emotional reaction than in conducting serious analysis.